name is Samuel and welcome back to another video where today we shall finally be taking a look at the set 75337 ATTE Walker which does include 1,082 pieces and at full price this does retail for £120, $140 and €140 Euros. and of course this is from Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith and this finally does include the Commander Cody minifigure which we'll take a look at very shortly. So starting off here is what the 212 looks like with Commander Cody here which I think is pretty awesome so we get three of the generic ones and then we also do get one gunner that technically I'm not sure if is actually included with the 212 or not but hey that is what it looks like so let's quickly remove these and take a look at Cody so taking a look at Commander Cody the figure here yeah I think this is pretty awesome the leg printing is really neat the body printing is really cool the helmet is really awesome yeah the printing is pretty cool and if we quickly just move that back you can see what it looks like it looks quite strange like it doesn't look like Cody until you do that so that is pretty neat but honestly I think that they should have just done a new helmet because the main issue is here one this visor should actually have the little antenna on the left and the hole see so yeah, the hole is technically in the wrong place if we quickly take a look at the 212 you can see that it's not traditionally where the hole is it makes sense for commander cody but when they do characters like rex or any other character that has an addition that's not the visor piece it's just going to look really strange so i think lego should have just made basically this this mold that they've done now for the helmet with the lower hole they should have done that then they should have just done a visor piece with like the new part i think it would have made more sense like the antenna piece i think it would look really cool but there you can see the back printing but yeah this figure isn't bad in any stretch of the imagination it's really good but i feel like they definitely could have done a little bit more and then here is a hair piece that is not included in the set but this is the teacher but this is the T'Challa Star-Lord hairpiece, which I think it works really well. And I just wanted to show you what it looks like. And there you can see his face print, which I really like the fact that they've included the scars, which is pretty awesome. And his visor does come with all the other pieces like they've always done, which truthfully, yeah, I think it just would have been better if this helmet had been molded like this specifically for Cody with the holes in the higher position. And then the visor had like the antenna to the left, which would have been pretty cool. So yeah, that's what the Commander Cody minifigure looks like. Don't get me wrong. I'm really happy I've got the minifigure. I think he's a really good minifigure but there's definitely a couple things that they could have done better and that is mainly just sorting out the helmet and visor pretty awesome though still so then taking a look at the 212 troopers here which if we just focus on the one in the middle here you can see that he's got some pretty awesome print and he has the orange and i looked at some photos yeah this is pretty accurate there's only one main issue and that's with the gray pieces on the helmet i don't really get where they've come from the gray on the body i believe is like shadow and just detailing but yeah that's what the figure looks like i think these figures are really awesome and i'm really holding out that we do get a battle pack and there you can see his face which apologies i need to strain it up there you can see that so yeah that's pretty awesome i like the I, again i like i said i really like the new face print and can i just say that there is actually a misprint on all of the clones i don't know how many of, i know quite a lot of people mostly notice but yeah this actually should be a triangle at the bottom it should go down to a triangle to the black line but no it's actually like a little rectangle so that's unfortunate but honestly i don't think it's much of an issue because because it's on the box lego typically fixes within a couple months and i'm pretty sure customer service will let you order a replacement because it is an error anyway that is that mini figure now let's take a look at the lone gun trooper and then here you can see we have the gunner here which i'm not sure if this is 212 or not but still hey i think it's a really cool mini figure you can see we have the print in there on the front we have the helmet which i really like the gray marks on the helmet i think it looks pretty cool like, i mean the, like the dirt and stuff on the top there you can see we have like the strap that runs around and yeah it's pretty awesome i wonder oh actually i guess that's his pauldron there you can see his face as well but yeah that's what the gunner looks like i think it's another really cool mini figure we've not had him for a few years and it's funny because the last republic tank set we actually got had one in it. so the fact he's not in it but he's in another set in like the same sort of year it's pretty cool but yeah that's what the gunner looks like pretty cool minifigure so then finally here you can see we have three battle droids here which i would have loved it if they'd included one super battle droid but we've not actually seen that mold for like five or six years which leads us to believe maybe it's been discontinued or it's broken or because there actually was some like damage issues where it kept snapping so maybe they're trying to fix it or maybe the mold is completely just broken but i really doubt that but anyway here you can see we have three battle droids which is pretty cool and i don't know about you but i find it hard to stand them up without arching their back backwards a little bit but there you can see that and looking at the scene they definitely should have had their backpacks with the little antennas as well but yeah those are the battle droids and they have the gunmetal great guns which is pretty awesome so now let's move on to the attte itself so starting off by taking a look at the attte as a whole just looking at it in one frame taking a look at the sheer size and scale this set yeah it is a pretty humongous set comparing it to that it is quite a big set yeah it is 
is actually the smallest one I do believe out of all of them, but still, it's a pretty large set. So zooming in, well, sort of moving in here, you can see we've got these tiles and all of that. I really like the panelling here. You can see some gaps, but realistically, I don't think Lego are ever going to get rid of them. Though they mostly could have added some of these tiles underneath. Maybe that would have worked. But there you can see we have the Republic logo. We have some battle damage, which is really nice, just simple but effective detailing. We have the leg plate here, which that does move around. We've got this plating. And yeah, again, you can see some gaps and, and everything. But honestly, it's not too bad. I mean, it looks pretty good, I have to admit. Then moving on down, you can see that we have got this more panelling. We've got some more gaps and stuff. We've got this leg, which I actually did the legs wrong, but it still worked out in the end. And can I just say, these pieces do tend to fall off quite a little bit. So that might not be the best thing, but hey, it isn't too bad. Then moving on round, you can see we have this leg, which this one moves a lot. It's not that stable, but really, the most funny thing is when you have all these legs, they look really wobbly, but when you put it down, it just goes back to its position. You might have to straighten it a little bit, but it genuinely just goes back to how you want it to be and how it should be. So I think that is really neat. You can see we have a gap here, which that is actually accurate. That's sort of how the design looks. So that I thought was really cool. And you can just see just some, again, some little bits, but still looks really nice. And moving around, you can see we have the grill. We have got the gun. You can see we have got some little angled lights here, which I think are pretty cool. That one actually, sorry, should be moved forward there you can see that which is pretty cool and if we move this down here you can see what it looks like looking dead towards the camera it looks really neat like it's a pretty it's a pretty awesome just display looking piece it just looks menacing i think that's the word i was after it looks really cool you can see that's where we will put a trooper you can see we have a grill then we've got the four guns which the ones at the back do pop off a little bit but i've not had issues with the front ones and the way this is done is just really simple but effective it's quite a uh, like when it originally was done i was like that's really loose but now it's really fixed in place which i think is really neat then anyway moving around you can see all the panels which is really cool and yeah i really like the look of that you can see we actually have some of the massive wall castle elements inside which originally i was like wow how are they going to make this work but hey they really do they make it work really well you can see the cannons on the back which yeah that one does pop off a little bit but it's not too bad i have to admit you can see that there we have that and we even have some back detailing just stuff like that which i think is really cool you can see that there it looks really neat and then moving up you can see taking a look at it downwards you can see that we have got some more paneling and things like that which i think is really nice it's really smooth as well you can see we have a sticker here the shade of gray is slightly different but hey it's one of those things you have this sticker which is really neat we have some damage on it we've got that one i just really like i want to say when they add like the damage to those stickers it makes it look really neat and then here we've got this handle which this does make me think that maybe they'll do another Rep a republic dropship with at ot walker potentially just because well i know they always do this but just because it is like something that they've done before it makes me think hey maybe they have got a plan for it but anyway you can see we've got this we've got another sticker here which i think this sticker is really cool you can see that there and there's just a better look at the set you can see that we've got the turret part which i think the turret is done really nice and you can see just moving all down we have some parts which it just looks really cool i just love all the like variety of shades of color here we've got all the shapes it just looks really neat you can see that moving it around and we've got the panel which i'm really sorry i've just realized that's been backwards the whole, whole time how do i i I don't know how I did that backwards, but anyway, you can see we have this really long cannon, which the cannon can point up a little bit and then point down, which I think is pretty cool. For example, you can have it going off against the spider droid, which I think is really cool. Here you can see what it looks like with a phase two gunner sitting in there, which I think is pretty neat. That is mainly what it looks like on the outside, but there are so many features to take a look at. Hang on, sorry, let's quickly just show you this. We've got these grill pieces, which is really cool, but yeah, that is what it mainly looks like on the outside. Now we've got quite a lot of features to take a look at. So the first one is is the interior how do you access the interior and in fact how much interior is there well there is quite a lot so starting off you can see we've actually got some hinges here if you noticed them earlier you simply lift that up and you can see we've got a nice space inside and to open that you simply can just do that and then lift that and move that around and there you go you have a lovely interior access which i think is really cool so you can see we've got a little doorway which of course would represent going all the way through it doesn't but the fact that they've done that i still like the symbolism like it represents that then we have this little base which i think is really cool it's just this little area so you can basically put a couple of troops on it and then sit them back down which i think is really neat it's not really held down by anything but still it stays in there perfectly fine we have got a thermal detonator part which i think is really cool you can see that we have the thermal detonators then we have got one more rack which has got a couple of accessories in it so if we quickly remove that you can see we just have well, one pair of binoculars in white which is pretty cool i 
don't really think we've seen them too many times. Moving on back over here, you can see just to simply pop it down in there, which is really neat. Again, it's not fixed with any jumper or any other pieces, but hey, I still think it works really well. And can I just say, I've just realized that actually these there's four gray corners in all of the corners of the set and you have to put all the gray pieces in there just to help align it, which I think is just a really neat idea. And oops, I pressed down the wrong part, but yeah, that's what it looks like. Which moving to a stand, you can see that we've got these clips here. And what you simply have to do is just pull it apart. So yeah, you pull it apart, you pull it down, and then you can kind of just fold it down neatly, which I think is pretty neat. I like the way they've done that. So it really just makes it quite effective. Then if we quickly just move the set over here so you can see it, you simply can pull that up and you can just pull these panels out, which there you can see it all open up now, which this I think is a really nice little interior space. Again, you can see the door, which would emulate exactly where it goes, which I really like that. Yeah, it does reveal a lot of gaps and stuff like that and the technique, but hey, I think it's a really cool idea, really cool concept and fault. You can see that we've got this area, which here we can have a, you can see we have a little um, gun weapon racket, which I think is pretty cool. It's weird and they don't give you anything there but still it's pretty cool at least you've got some extra space for a figure or something you have a fire extinguisher here we have the turret which i think that's another really cool feature just this has got so many fe features and details which i think is just absolutely fantastic like it's done really well and if we quickly move over you can see we have the turret which i think that turret is really nice i really like the look of that well I guess turret is not the um best way to call it it's mostly a weapon system and then the actual uh guns blasters on the back but yeah that is where you can put it now let me quickly fill it up with clones and then there you can see all of the clones sitting in there which i think is pretty awesome you can see we have all five of them sitting there which is pretty cool and the fact that you can pose them differently is pretty neat too and yeah sorry i just realized the jumper pieces are actually of course for the tall gun so i should have realized that there and you can put in the gun holder of course the other ones and we have the gunner sitting here so yeah i think that's a really neat little area like genuinely i think it's done really well and if you want to close it up you simply just push them in and you have to press them in and well actually sorry you have to make sure you get the gray corner to actually align into the corner of this piece to help it press in which they actually do that quite a lot on this set and you have to push that up and round and yeah they do that quite a lot on this set that there's lots of little pieces that you add on to kind of just really help it all fit together which i think is really neat so yeah that's how the back looks and then finally for the att itself here you can see we've got the cockpit do we call it that or more like the control room i guess is the best way but of course this is where they operate for the well where the clones operate this of course this time around is the 212 but yeah you simply pull it out you can see we've got like the sliders there and we've got the axle pin in the middle which i think is pretty cool just moving it over there you can see we have this here which this i really think it's just a really nice build it's quite different it's built on the side which i think is really unique that's not technique here you can see we have a couple control sticks we have a chair and everything and yeah i think it's a really neat idea and quickly if we just get one of the figures and put it in there you can see that they fit pretty comfortably there's quite a lot of space you can they can you know grab onto the controls and everything look out the window and yeah i think it's done really nicely and if we quickly just slide it back on in which if you want to slide it in it's simply just like that you simply slide them in like that and you have to line it up a little bit but there we have it there you can see we've got the two 12 troopers sitting in there you might want to straighten out the helmet a little bit which there you can see i've straightened out the helmet and yeah that's what it looks like which i think is pretty awesome now let's move on to the final build which is the spider droid so then finally here you can see we have the spider droid which i think is pretty neat it's pretty well done you can see we have the droid body piece there which is pretty cool we have the eyes we have the gun at the front we also have a two by two cylinder piece to help it stand up in the proper position which is pretty awesome and yeah after doing some research yeah this definitely was meant to be a crab droid which it's really unfortunate and also there's another droid the one in the udapal battle pack that we got in about 2014 i believe that build also could have been in this set so the fact that there was three there was literally a the 66 percent chance that they could get it right they, got, they they chose the lower number which is a kind of insane but hey maybe this was hidden in the background maybe as an innocent mistake but either way it's unfortunate that it's not in the set but hey this is still a pretty neat build i've never had this before so it's still pretty cool overall i think this is a really good lego set i genuinely think this build is really awesome i found it really enjoyable like the legs yeah i got a bit bored doing repetitive parts so that's just me in general but i really overall enjoyed the build it's quite interesting how the panels and just how everything came together with the castle wall and yeah the minifigure selection 
extension is absolutely incredible. The 212, it's annoying that there is that little uh, misprint that Lego have got to fix. And the fact that Cody, really the whole helmet should have, that, where they have the holes higher, that should have been done for Cody. And all the other troopers should have had the holes in the actual correct spot. Because of course, it's going to look weird when it's not got the visor. Because of course, the visor has to be at the certain height so they can see out. But yeah, I think it is a really good Lego set. Like genuinely, it's a really good Lego set. But I don't know, for me, the price, I can't really make my mind up. I can't really decide if I think it's a good price or not. It's one of those, I don't, I don't know, I very rarely have this. I normally have an opinion that, yeah, it should be dearer or should be cheaper. This time around, I don't really know. I can't really decide, like, I'm not really sure why. But yeah, I really like this set. I think it looks really cool on display. And it's one of those, if you like what you see and you think the price is fair, go for it. And in fact, if you had seen the box and you wanted it and you didn't even realise all the interior space, I would definitely recommend it because there's definitely a lot more to show for it. And yeah, I think it's really cool. I love the ways that the panels connect and everything. And again, I know there are a few gaps, but hey, it's one of those things. And can I just say, these sometimes pop off, but you just got to sort of press it in as much as you can. And these ones you don't press in as much. But yeah, I think it's a really good Star Wars set. It's really hard for me to make my opinion on this or the Inquisitor side, what one's my favourite. But yeah, it's definitely a really awesome and I think it's definitely going to be a high highlight for this year so thank you all for watching this video what do you think of this set leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and until the next video i'll see you there bye for now